What's going on, everybody? Uh, so yeah, this is a property or properties that Derek, my partner, and myself picked up a while back. I uh, just want to give you all a little walkthrough and kind of, well, yeah, and, and then a numbers breakdown of what we're doing with it, um, how we got it, how much we're buying it for. And, um, and yeah, our ultimate goal is to make these two properties, two Airbnbs. We're literally two minutes from downtown. There's a building right there. It's right over this area right here. And uh, yeah, we're in a highly gentrifying area too called Fifth Ward, Texas, uh, right off the freeway right here. It's I-10 if you're familiar with Houston. Um, but let me let me take y'all inside the property so y'all can check it out. So unfortunately, this is the biggest eyesore of the property. We have a vacant property literally right next door. Uh, but we will be putting a fence to the left of the property, actually all the way, all the way around. Um, we won't put one down the center, as you can see right here. We're going to keep that open and probably put gravel there. And then we have a vacant lot to the right of the property over here. And unfortunately, somebody stole a truck and uh, they're literally chopping it up by the day over there. We still need to call the cops. But um, yeah, this is the property. Let's go inside. All right, let's go. Boom. So we walk in. It's a shotgun style bungalow walk in here's the living room dining room kitchen mud room back there master bedroom and closet and restroom so this used to be a room but we turned it into a restroom a master bath um just so the guests will have uh have their own restroom uh so yeah here's the master bedroom walk through secondary bathroom is a lot of work obviously windows are already in kitchen second bedroom and the mud room the washroom electrical panel yeah so you can see straight through the house, true definition of a shotgun style house. So I know you're wondering, what about the second one? So the second house, it's literally identical, identical to this house. Um, it's only off by a few feet. We don't know where those few feet are, but uh, it's literally the exact replica of this property. Um, so just a little context, it started out as a three bedroom, one bath, since we're doing Airbnb, uh, like I said earlier, want to make sure everybody has their own restroom, uh, that it's just more comfortable. So we're just making it a two bedroom. We condensed one of the bedrooms and turned it into a master bath. So now this master right here will have their own bathroom. They don't have to come out to the general public or anything, um, just to make it more, more homey, you know? So here's the backyard. A uh, good sized backyard. We're actually two feet behind this fence. So once we get a fence built, which will be next week, fuck the lumber prices, by the way. Uh, it'll be it'll be cool and secure, but it had two decks. Uh, they were in horrible shape. So now we're just gonna add another five foot deck, five foot deck, and then it'll just be a you know seating area out here, nice area uh, to get away from maybe the people inside or, or whatever you wanna do. Um, but yeah, we may just gravel this middle side right here and our fence line is literally right here so we're not going to add a fence right here since we already have an existing fence just going to chop some trees down oh there's our tree guy right there chop some trees down and uh get it going all right guys so i want to go over the numbers on this prop or these properties as well uh i just got done uh mowing the yard because we were going to get a code violation so excuse the sweat and everything um but yeah, so numbers wise, so first off, we purchased this property via social media. I can't stress enough how important and uh, how crucial it is to let everybody know what you're doing, especially in your local market. Um, we had a, a local wholesaler who was having a little difficulty selling these properties. Uh, I don't think he had a large buyer's list. That's the only issue. So he reached out to Derek 
and uh, we walked the property and we were, we were sold as soon as we put our eyes on the property, even before um, at the price he was asking. So uh, we got the properties. So both properties on one lot, we got it for $88,000. Uh, that's with the land and the two houses. So we turned around and went to our private lender and we asked for $200,000. So let me break it down. So 88 for the purchase, uh, then with closing costs and the fees, the cost of money, we're basically gonna be around 95, 96, let's just say 100,000 just to play it, make it number simple. For the rehabs, even though we're gonna go over, uh, we estimated about $50,000 each. So that's why we asked for a total loan of $200,000 from our private lender. 50 for rehab, 50 for the other rehab, and then about 100 for the entire purchase. Uh, so this is a six month loan and we're gonna refinance out of his loan into a long-term 30 year mortgage and everything. Um, yeah, and that'll be a lower interest rate. And yeah, that's where we really start cash flowing because we're, like I said, we're gonna turn it into an Airbnb. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the numbers in a nutshell. Uh, I probably missed a few things, but just hit me in the comments to let me know what questions you have. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough project. It's one of our biggest projects thus far, um, but I really think, and I know for a fact, it's gonna help us going forward, um, you know, with any other rehabs that we have going on, because it's gonna make everything else a cakewalk. Because as you can see, we're taking this mother down to the studs. And uh, yeah, this is the first time we've ever done this. We have had some issues with theft, uh, contractors leaving on us and everything um, but we're, we're making it through at the end of the day we have two two assets that uh, we're gonna be able to live off of both of our families and everything so we're just creating generational wealth and that's the whole name of the game at least in our eyes you know me and my partner so uh, yeah if you have any questions definitely feel free to reach out and uh, yeah I'll start making more videos regarding this property as well so you can see the the journey and the transition uh, once we're complete so it's exciting and uh yeah let me know if you have any questions